Hello, I'm Congressman Sam Farr. Ten years ago this September 11th, our nation suffered one of the most tragic days in our history. It's a day none of us will ever forget. Where we were, what we were doing, who we were with, these are all details that will remain forever engraved in our memories. For me, I recall running out of the Capitol as security police yelled at everyone to evacuate. Evacuate, evacuate, a plane is headed our way. All I could think about was what in the world is going on? When events became clear as to the nature of the attack, that's when I began to worry about the safety and security of my family, my constituents, and our nation. Later that day, I wept for America, even as I sang patriotic songs to prove American solidarity in the face of the Al-Qaeda onslaught. Today, 10 years later, I think back to that day and wonder if anything is different. Did we take a lesson from September 11th to make the world a better place? Has the nation grown closer and more unified in a common battle against terrorism? Did our basic American values and liberties survive the crisis of our military response? These are my reflections on September 11th. I honor the men and women who answered the call to serve in the military and sacrificed life and limb in the defense of American ideals. And I believe our liberties, though solely tested, still resonate with the American people. But I think that the closeness and commonality we all felt the day after has faded and too often we have retreated to our private corners of concern rather than paying attention to the greater good. The stalemate in American politics, the slump in the economy, the unease we move forward, to me are after the effect of fear. Fear that terrorism has changed us forever and that we will never be at peace again. But if there's anything that 9-11 has come to symbolize, it is that America is resilient and will always bounce back. I'm proud of my country. I am proud to serve it. On 9-11 and all days, I'm proud to be an American and share my thanks to you her citizens for standing by her on this day and all days.